It's about a 16 and Rory with the driver. Yeah, and he's missed it a couple of times left this week and the rough over there is seriously thick. It isn't an ideal tee shot. It should be for Rory McIlroy because there's a big tongue down the left-hand side that waltzes up the left there for about 60 yards and it juts out further than it has in previous years. If he picks a target, that being the 17th tee, and just munches on it, he won't run out of fairway. This is why Rory goes to the gym and pumps iron. He'll need to be strong. This is down deep in some lush stuff. It's a flat out wedge. He can't take the flag on either. He'll be aiming at Harding's ball. Gap wedge, muscle time. Just over 30 feet, a chance for McElroy to move clear of Hovland. Excellent effort. Adrenaline pumping, straight down breeze, 3-3-8, three, three, hammer time. Well, he's got some, as you and said, with that camera angle, he's got some really thick branches, but I can't see him dropping it. Harry Diamond's in there, he's going, he gave him some great advice at the Wells Fargo there on the 18th hole, Quail Hollow, told him to drop it, got it up, you know, on the green, two putt and one. Yeah, I think so, yeah, I get it. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Get steep enough on Guys, move. Can you move, please? Sounds like he's pretty committed to where you go this one. Yeah, I got it. It'll, it'll come out. Guys, five yards, come on. Keep going back. Yeah, what's going, what's going to happen here? He feels as a Harry's trying to try to talk him out of it. Can you do this, boss? 100% I can. And I believe he can too. It's just how far he hits us. What's going to happen? He's going to wrist hinge really early and he's going to pick it up so he doesn't on the downswing get caught with the branches behind and that wraps around the shaft. More. He's got no Guys, this could he's go anywhere. adrenaline into the shaft, but this could come out like a seven iron and go straight over the green. There's a lot of luck in this shot, but yeah, it's doable. Where drop it, where or you can drop it, or you can drop it. I sort of like this, I can get it out and like get it up and down. Okay, it's coming under right? Yeah, yeah, 100%. Okay. Come on, come on. Once again, apologies for the uh, language. Okay. Hit and help. Oh, 
How about that? Right up to the 17th and uh, McElroy with the par putt. What an escape that is. Well, he made a great escape on 10, where he made a six, where he was in the sand, had to take a drop. And he's done it again, this time for a par. <laughs> he looks a little rattled to me, he looks a little bit angry with himself, but 18, he can reach that easily in two, can't he? You have to be honest, that's a great escape. That could have been five, six, in the blink of an eye. But the pitch was top draw. Come on, With all the things that went on around him before then, and then to be able to just calm down, play the shot, land it on the sixpence he was looking at. Terrific four. Pretty straight. On the ball. At least he's got a self bounce. I wonder if he's got in mind the fact that he made birdie here back in 2009 to win his very first DP World Tour event. Yeah, he's waiting and it's a long wait as the flag goes in. The wind's in two out of the right hand side. Two, six, seven, the wind's just stiffened. Out with a three wood. If you want to bail out, Margaritaville left isn't a bad lay lay bail out. You can get up and down from over there. That's a brave play this. He's got to go left, he's got to go long. Or a Cullen Montgomery from years gone by, that would get the job done. That's a oh long game. no! Not even close. Who would have thought at just the wrong time? The drive at 17, and that at 18. Maybe the drive at 17 was the cause of that at 18. Two destructive shots from McElroy. Yeah, Radar said there was a little bit of mud on the ball, but he's trying to get a big cut from the left, but just got underneath it. I was never getting over, I'm afraid. However, he can still pitch and putt, get in the playoff. He's just looking a little bit angry with himself, Macro, over the last hour or so. Had to wait quite a long time. He's got around 85. He can get this up and down and still get in this playoff. He's been very good at this this week. Wind into out of the right, trying to zip across at one bounce and stun it. Excellent shot from McElroy, but he's going to have to hold that. Amazingly close, but it's not to be for McElroy. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here, and to subscribe, click here.